Next. Hey, what's up? I'm Norman. I'm Yusri. And I'm Madri. That's right. And we are KRU. And we are the, the Generation, Generation X. X. No doubt about it. We wrote the song uh, Never Let the Spirit Die way back in uh, March 1998. We initially wanted to put this track on our forthcoming debut English album. It's specially written for the KL98 games, just to show support for the games. Since there are so many songs composed for the Commonwealth games, we thought that Never Let the Spirit Die would just be, you know, one of those songs. Don't get me wrong, Never Let the Spirit Die is a good song, but since there are so many songs related to the Commonwealth games, we never thought that it could be a big thing until Pepsi came into the picture. Approximately 50 insertion in all press, okay? And this press will be communicating. Pepsi made it big. I mean, really big. Never Let the Spirit Die is about how one should always be proud of one's achievements so long that he or she has given his or her best attempt in the process of achieving success. In sports, whether you win or lose, you are already a winner by participating in good sportsmanship. Of course, ideally everybody wants to be a winner, but there will be only one winner. Uh, a true sportsman is a, is a winner. And the people behind the games, organizing the games, the fans who give their support to the games are winners too. So basically that is what the song is all about. Originally the song was only recorded in R&B ballad version. Even though the song was composed in March, we only recorded it in June 1998. The song was recorded in KL and as usual it was uh, programmed by Yusri, engineered by Edri and produced by KRU. <laughs>
that time, uh, we had already produced a jingle for Pepsi called Try. And when we told Pepsi about our Commonwealth game song, they asked us to give them a copy since they've got something in mind. They liked it immediately. But they also asked us to come up with an up-tempo version, something that can be related to a festive mood. Something more energetic that can be related to Generation Next. And that was how the second version, the Fiesta Mix, came about. Okay, uh, this is how it is done. First, we uh, extract the main vocals from the R&B track and just layer it, layer it with uh, the new arrangement, which is this two thing here. And once you get it running, you get the, the new version, the Fiesta mix. Took me about three hours to reprogram the song. The tough part was getting it started. What kind of instruments? How to get the festive mood? Once we got it rolling, the rest was history. wanted three elements in the commercial. Firstly, of course, Pepsi. Secondly, games related to the Commonwealth Games. And thirdly, KRU. The first hurdle is to shoot the spots related to the Commonwealth Games. Even though KRU were not directly involved in the shoot, Norman was at the stadium to make sure things were okay. Since we were working on a tight deadline, we decided to shoot the whole sports montage sequence at one main location, the main stadium at Bukit Jalil Sports Complex. Thankfully, the Ministry of Youth and Sports were very helpful in giving us the permission to shoot at a sports complex. Due to time constraint, we had to shoot the sports montage at one main area in the stadium. The track and field sports were fine, but we had to design the set for badminton and hockey at the same exact spot. The funny part was the badminton scene. There were a bunch of production crew behind the camera throwing the shuttle to the talents. And some of them were hit by the shuttle. And including the cameraman but we were pleased to see the results with all due respect the badminton set looks really cool then it was Carrier's turn to be on the set Everything was great, except for the scene with fire around us. It was so hot. It was like being in an oven, and the makeup artist had a tough time trying not to get our sweat spoiling the makeup. Then it was editing time. It was worth it.
When we wanted to shoot the music video, we had a problem in choosing uh, which version to be used for the shoot. Everyone had their own opinion. The R&B version is good, especially to bring out the sentimental, spiritually uplifting emotion. While the Fiesta mix is also good, especially in bringing out the jovial and exciting mood to the games. Then we decided to combine both versions into one and make it unique in terms of uh, the contrast in mood. We also had to change the storyboard of the music video. Um, initially to show slow artistic movement and then BAM! Fire! We shot the music video at the same set as the commercial. But of course, um, we had to have uh, additional sets because the song is about 5 minutes long while the commercial is only for 30 seconds. Well, we had fun doing this. It feels really great to know that our music played a part in Kuala Lumpur 98. We would like to thank the Malaysian Ministry of Youth and Sports, Sukom 98 Berhad, the management at Bukit Jalil Sports Complex, the talents, and the production team at KMP. And big, big thanks to Pepsi for making it big. Kerry is proud to be in the Generation X team. So all the fans, thanks for your support. You can be sure that there'll be more to come from Kiaryu and Pepsi. Just check it out. Introducing a whole new look for Pepsi.
all new look, same great taste. Pepsi, Generation Next. Seven up. Whoa! 